All right, so on to the losers' finals: Cuba versus Black Duchy. And it's going to be on Fetid Marsh, or at least Game One's going to be on Fetid Marsh. Game Two and Three are going to be more reasonable maps. But Game One's on Fetid Marsh. All right, so I'm not sure what's going to happen with Drone with the whole Baladin thing, since I don't know if they spec cheated, and no one really knows they spec cheated, and. Now I'm... Whoa, what the heck? It is a bit awkward. No, my frame rate's just tanking. How in the world? I, I'm... This... Might have something to do with the map. Yeah. Maybe this is where the... um, Maybe this is where the extra megs are coming from. Something which makes you frame rate tank. Because that... There must be some massively inefficient thing in transferring from CPU to GPU. Because my GPU is super fast. CPU is not the fastest... But CPU to GPU transfer can bottleneck even the best systems. That's probably what it is. Like, just so many things that are being drawn, like so many draw calls that are being instanced properly. Or yeah, this, this map has a lot of features. <laughs> lots and lots of features. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, it's... What is... None of them even have reclaim value. <laughs> Yeah, it's not uncommon for for drone to do. Or sorry, for for Forb to do because that way they can make the map pretty without messing up balance. Yeah, but I, I know next to nothing about Evo RDS, but I, I in terms of balance in zero K, um, there is the point the trees can obstruct fire, which makes yeah. some units better than others. Although with Evo, I believe Reclaim does never come from trees, because normally Reclaim comes from little canisters that drop from dead units. But I don't think you can even Reclaim trees to begin with. Right. Anyway, Black Duchy going for Hover, Cube going for Jump Bots. I can kind of see why they went for Jump Bots, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to make much difference. Hover, on the other hand, just because of the size of the map, I can sort of see why, but it, this just seems weird. Yeah, Black Duchy fighting their idol. Black Duchy basically trying yeah. to... <laughs> Gonna have to kill them. It's like, nope, just turning on them. Their wish went bad. It's like, nope, screw it. You're gonna die now, QA. Screw me over for the last time. Just in this matchup, I don't actually... I must have seen Hover jump as a matchup at some point in the past, but I don't remember it. Yeah, it's not a common one. Normally, you see how, you don't see them on the same map. The only map I can think of where you might see them is Quicksilver. Like, because that's a map where you get light vehicle, jump bot, and occasionally hover. Just because it's kind of like this, flat, but with cliffs. But really big. Although much smaller, but still fairly big. Oh, right. Black Duchy didn't build any radar, and so didn't actually see the pyro that entire time. I wasn't even... It didn't oh, even yeah. occur to me. That's a fair point. We'll also note that Cuba has not built radar. Is it, what, what is it with people not building radar okay, this tournament? Okay, Cuba hasn't been building radar much in general. Cuba is reluctant to build radar as a rule. I found. On the other hand, Black Duchy has no excuse. They really should have had radar. I think part of it is that yeah, the silly. Yeah, the, 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 gar the garbling just got really bad, actually. Oh, I barely hear anything you say. Well, when it gets better, the map is hilly. I think a lot of people don't like to build radar on hilly or plateau-y maps, or cliff maps. Because of the impression that if you go for that, it's going to be bad for you, I guess. It's going to go badly? I don't know. That's the only thing that comes to mind, because honestly, radar is useful always. It's very rarely useless, if you, especially if you get on high ground. Oh, the frame issue is fog? Really? How could fog be that bad? Well, where's fog? Anyway. So, as I was saying... I don't think I can turn off fog. Alright. 
Well, Fairland, yeah, Fairland used dual flogging, that was fine, so I have no idea. I think it's the features. I think it's just the features aren't well instanced, or aren't instanced at all, and it's pushing a huge amount of data from the CPU to the GPU, and that's slowing everything down. Like, the GPU can process it no problem, but getting it to the GPU takes forever because there's so much of it. Oh, that's true. I guess you have to... I don't know. I can't turn off dual fog anyway, so whatever. Anyway, Black Duchy is... Let's see, where's Black Duchy? Black Duchy 18, QA 19. Black Duchy is probably ahead? I mean, they have enough... They have enough daggers to just get rid of any pyro they encounter. But they don't know that the pyros are there. Which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, they can alpha out any pyro they find. Like that one. As they're about to do. Or not, since they didn't all do it at once. So much for that. There we go. Yeah, Cuba, on the other hand, doesn't have too much. Two pyros and not much else to their name. Expanding a fair bit, but otherwise not much. I wonder if it's the ambient noise. Oh. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Ambient noise is annoying me. Nope, that didn't work either. Ay, that's really getting... Sorry, the ambient noise is getting my nerves. I'm sure it's getting in your nerves, too. And I don't know if that's actually... the. I, it seems surprising that if that would be the frame rate thing. I seriously doubt it, but yeah. There's a search button? Oh yeah, I guess there is. No match for fog. Okay, I'm back, but you're still you're still really garbled, so I guess that didn't help much. Okay, that sucks. Am I still garbled? I'm to talk over you too much. Am I yeah, yeah, that, whatever you did didn't help. Okay, and now the colors are switched. I'm sorry. So now Cube is blue and Black Duchy is red. That's weird, but okay. Actually, I might be able to switch that back. This is becoming a total gong show. Alright, back to normal. This ambient noise thing, ugh. Darn it, Forb, I know you like your aesthetics, but this is getting annoying. I guess this is the danger with um, using a bunch of <coughs> new and, in some cases, untested maps in the tournament. Sometimes they, work, sometimes they work out okay. Yeah. Sometimes they work out okay, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they look really pretty, but tank your frame rate and end up just just destroying your ears, or at least making you go insane. The gobbling's gone now, so I can actually hear you again. Good. That's pretty good. So you can hear my descent into madness. That's always yeah. good. Descent into madness should never be done alone. That would just be sad. And thus totally inappropriate. Well... Reapier's coming from Cube, and where are the flails? There are none. There are scalpels, which will not do. They'll do some good, but not much good. Oh, there's the. There flail. was a flail. It's in the back. It's in the base. No. And here comes this ominous approach of rapiers. And then the ominous, less ominous retreat of rapiers, and then reapproach, and then general hit and run attacks. And where's that flail? Because the trident's doing a fine job, but the flail should move forward and deal with this. Flails are awesome at dealing with gunships. Yeah, so well, I think Black Dodge has actually forgotten that flail. He built it at the very start when he wasn't sure what Cubay's factory was, but has since completely forgotten about it. Which is kind of sad, because flails are, like I said, awesome in this case. Some of the best units mm. to use for this. 
now a long line of puppies. Because why not? Anyway, Cubate looks like they're gonna be trying to just just trying to outspam, really. Nothing no real thought seems to be given here. Black Dutchie, on the other hand, they want to raid, they want to harass, they want to get around back, and they want to just scout out finally, see what the heck's going on. And I guess kill the commander if they can. I mean, why not? So Cube is down a commander, but still way ahead in the economy. And yeah. Not a terrible attack. If the Banshees can get away, that's even better. Cut. Not the commander, I don't... I think a couple of Banshees might live, but... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> no, one of them gets away. Or two of them get away. Or... Will it? I don't know. But it doesn't really matter because like there's a bunch of... by the puppies, no. Well, there's a bunch of other harassment going on, so it won't matter as much. I mean, the Banshee is surviving, but still. All this other harassment, that's what matters. Black Touchy pulling QB down. Making sure they can't just get away with what they were getting away with. And Cuba actually does have radar now. A weirdly disjointed set of radar circles, but they do have it. Not sure exactly what the motivation was for that particular set of radar, but yeah. And yeah, Black Dutch and Cuba just harassing each other up. But I think Black Dutch he will win this, especially here. The Trident's getting rid of Cuba's rapiers, and Black Dutch's own rapiers able to deal with whatever they need to deal with. And the puppy's totally out of position, so that means that these rapiers will basically be able to attack with impunity. They really can't do anything. Yeah, I think Cuba needs to um, get out a... Uh, yep, he's put a, putting out an Archangel now. A little late, but well, I can deal some damage. Yeah, it'll, be, it'll be in time. There's enough Where's... economy to pump it out pretty quick. Where's the ETA counter? Did I turn off ETA counter? I think I turned off the ETA counter accidentally. Oh no, I didn't turn it off, it just died. How the heck did it die? Okay, build progress is a nil value. There needs to be some testing on these widgets, because I'm getting some nil value errors here. What was the line for that? 151. One. Okay, anyway, and I think I fixed the factory panel error that was coming up before, like in the middle while Aquinum was talking at some point. But yeah, this is... Mm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of this game. You know, this... this uh, these rapiers of Cubay are probably going to get cleaned up. Cubay still holds most of the top right, whereas... Whereas Black Duchy only has a handful of mixes in the bottom left. That's true. Although Black Duchy, if, if they stopped accessing, I think they'd do far better. If their commander was actually used to help build <laughs> Banshees, for instance... There we go. That helps. Mm. Yes, not ac not accessing is generally a pretty good strategy. And it's a start. But it's more that they had the production to actually not access, and for some reason they had forgotten to have their commander actually helping build things. But they're good now. For, mo for most of this game, Cubase held the map control, but there's, there's a bunch of rapiers and uh, Tridents. Tridents out of Black Duchy. Might, might actually allow, allow Black Duchy to take some map control back and Get, get, get the expansion going again, because at the moment, Black Dutchie's metal income is confined to only the starting corner again. Yeah, but Black Dutchie is attacking anti-air with air. I don't understand why. I guess they're sick of having rapiers. And they don't want to self-D them. Like, I would recommend self-destruction, but whatever. I guess if they want to do it fancy. At least the Archangels are going to have a bit of a harder time, but still, that's 15 shots to kill them. Or sorry, not 15, it's 7 shots to kill them. But that's still too much damage to be able to work with. How many Reapers are here, anyway? 6 Rapiers, all of them belonging to Black Duchy, and none of them are going to be super useful right now. But hey, Scalpels! Your favorite! Finally got the disgusting Scalpels out! And this sounds like a terrible time for probably it went glitchy. Oh well. Oh. Oh, so it's the fog is right now uses a gadget, apparently. So I can't turn this off. 
And I guess it's more expensive. I don't know. Why are we on this map? I mean, I don't dislike for... Why is stuff breaking? Oh, wait, it's not breaking. I hit F9. Never mind. I just hit F9. But yeah, it's like... This... I don't know. Stuff keeps breaking on me. Like, first this player list, and the build ETA, and I realize those have been modified recently, but evidently not tested. Although, I still don't know where that build progress name would come in, but yeah. Whatever. Looks like Cubay basically has this. Black Dutchie will not be able to kill their mentor this game, from the looks of it. Or, I don't know, mentor, but idol role model. I don't know. One last dish attempt along the back, which will actually deal a fair bit of damage. There's nothing to stop it. So it should be decently effective. Along with the spider switch, but... Yeah, this attack is the main one. I think if Black Dutchie fails this, they'll they'll give up. Even if they succeed, they might still give up. I don't know. If they fail, they'll definitely give up, though. But, hey, spiders against pyros! Like I've suggested before, because they are quite powerful. Oh, and actually... As a follow-up to something I mentioned in one of my previous casts, looks like Spider, sorry, Venom Hermit does a fine job of dealing with Pyros. It doesn't have to be Venom Redback, and possibly Venom Hermit could be a better set of options. And there's the attack. So, Rapier's coming in. They've got a lot to tear apart. Sheesh. And the wind's high, so they need to tear about, about 50 of these? 50 or 60 in order to get this to work, and the puppies. Thus the running. The terrible, terrified running from the puppies. Or the running of the puppies, I suppose. But, at the same time, attacks on the other side. So if Black Dutchie can tear apart this north... Um, maybe the northern side? I mean, they can go along this wall here. Go on the back, avoid the Stardust completely. That could work. But Cubay does have a huge amount of the economy here. And the puppies are kind of blocking this off, and Cubay is fully aware of what's going on. While Black Dutchie has no clue. And they're in fact about to run into it. Well, at least lose a couple of these. At least the Archangels are going to have a bit of a harder time, even though... Nah, it's not going to be great. That's another Rapier down. All but one Rapier goes down, so that attack did not do what it was meant to do. Although it did chop off a lot of the overdrive. That reduced the metal by about 10 or so, but yeah, that's... That's still not enough. This forward attack might be one more... A last, last ditch effort? I mean, that was kind of the last ditch, but this seems to be the, the next last ditch. After the last ditch. I mean, give it a shot, it might work. I kind of doubt it, though, because there are a lot of puppies and no mass damage. Like, no crowd control here. And this side, that's the Archangel side. Ooh, actually, never mind. The Venoms do operate well enough as crowd control to deal with this, so, yeah, this actually works. Not necessarily crowd control damage, but crowd control EMP does fine in a pinch, and that's... That's a nice path, too, because they can go from here all the way through and up, and that's gonna be very powerful. Cubase decided to stop messing around with the units that have counters and build a funnel web instead. Oh. Yeah, I, mi I missed that. Sheesh. But looks like it at the same time, Cubay has, Cube has double the economy, breaking? but no army anymore. Mm hmm. So that one funnel web, that's yep, kind of it. it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the one. Fu like, the funnel web also has a problem that it currently has no shields and no drones. It kind of takes a while for the. Funnel web to come up to strength. I don't know that this is going to work. Cubay may think actually so. lose with a. Cubay may actually lose with a three times army advantage, three times income advantage somehow. Well, I don't. Let's see what Black Dutchie does. Uh, I mean, Cubay's been excessing as well, so bear that in mind. There, there is that. Aspect. Oh, there's the blast wings too. Oh, the blast wings get. St oh, that's not blast wings. That's drones, which get stung at. Gets stunned out. So yeah, it's gotta come down to Venom staying alive long enough to get the get everything here. 
I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm really finding this game difficult to comprehend, <laughs> to be honest. Well, Cuba was involved, so that <laughs> I, helps, I don't but yeah, this is just... I don't understand. <laughs> well, Black Tachi just tried everything, and then something oh, worked. Oh, that's... That was rough. Black Tachi run his entire army next to the Strider yeah, before killing him. That's actually health. a fair bit of damage. I keep saying, and don't get I hit by the burst. You know, you, pro you might not even see a um, see a Strider Hub regularly enough to know that it do know that it explodes on oh, death. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's true. But in general, buildings explode when you kill them. Mm. Like as a general rule, don't be next to buildings when they blow up. It's one of the hardest parts about you. Yeah, no, think... mm. yeah, no, it looks like Kibe has has is going to clean this up. Still has the economy advantage, so yeah. Although, actually, no, okay, Kibe does still have a constructor. Uh, more than one constructor. If Kibe did not have constructors, this would be... Yeah, this would actually be <laughs> this over. This music... <laughs> oh, probably. Yeah, no, probably, yeah, it would probably be over. Even now, the economy advantage means uh, nothing, because it's just building up Caretaker. That's going to take about half a minute, and then the factory's going to take another minute, and then, or a little over a minute... And in that time, I don't know why Black Dutchie is wasting time in this laser, but on the razor, seriously. Just... Black Dutchie would, Black Dutchie would need something which can kill five moderators in a funnel whip. I don't know that Black Dutchie's current army does that. It probably doesn't. But I mean, the drones are dealt with. The funnel whip drones are dealt with by the venom, but yeah, it does. Otherwise, does not. And so there's definitely supplanting um the Orpheus game, the, the Orpheus. Uh, who was it? Cube game on Bandit Plains for the most incomprehensible game of the tourney. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, really, I'm really having difficulty understanding what's going on here. Well, yeah, Cube has a lot of reclaim to work with now, has the economy advantage, has a funnel web, should win. But yeah, 2000 I, I don't... reclaim easy should win, but I don't really... Okay, well... If one I thing I'm noticing this... Love. One thing I'm noticing this turning as a whole is a lot more people are going gunship rather than airplanes. Oh, have you not been playing recently? <laughs> gunship's uh, super popular. Some. But gunship I mean, is I, super popular. I, I understand it's popular, I'm just not sure it's actually better. Well, the rapiers change made a lot of people convinced that it was. Mm. Well, there we go. There's an option. There's an answer, sort of. The gnats help. This, yeah, blow up all of the. Uh... Unfortunately, Black Dutchie's arm, Black Dutchie's army is now out of position to, yeah. to actually kill it. Now that all of the, now that even though all the drones are dead, and Cuba has got into, back on the home front has gone into a shield factory and bandit spam. Wow, yeah. Which I feel like is which I feel like is definitely the wrong choice against Venom Hermit, but who am I to judge? Well the other thing of course is there's another factory potentially in the northeast side of the map. Or northeast corner of the map. There's all there's so many caretakers that if they needed to rebuild a factory or build a new factory, Cubay could do that no problem. Is this I, I think this funnel's gonna die. Oh yeah, it's dead. The funnel died. I It'll kill everything with it, though. I think should win this, but well, apparently not. I, I don't know, because Black Dutch is going to lose their army. They're going to lose all of their Venoms when that dies. Uh, yeah, that's actually not... That's less than great. Okay, not quite all their Venoms. Most of their Venoms. But at this point, Cubay now has... Okay, now, now building Rogues, but a bunch of Bandits and a bunch of Rogues. That's not going to... No, and not with a Banshee. Black Dutch now has... The... And now Black Dutchie has a huge amount of reclaim. I, I, I don't know this game. I don't understand this game. I don't know either. I mean, they're going for weird yeah. things like Final Web as opposed to stand with things like Dante or just Tax Silo or even heck a silencer for all the eight uh, Cubase no. had. No, no, Tax Silo wouldn't do much in this game, but I think, I mean, what would you hit? Ah, uh, that's true. Grasping at straws here. But still, I mean. Yeah, I okay, Cubay's now going in. Cubay's now going into actual air, which is nice. I mean, they will be able to get quite a few Swiss very quickly, but the Tridents are still in place, 
And the gnats as well are a thing. Oh, wait, where are the tridents? Are there tridents? There were tridents. I don't see them. Black Dutch, still has, Black Dutch still has tridents. They're in the base. Five of them. Oh, okay. Thanks. I don't know why I didn't see them. But yeah, there they are. Yeah, I don't know how much it's going to matter, though. I mean, Black Touchy's just ripping apart Cuba's economy. And now Black Touchy finally has the economic advantage. Because yeah. it was just given away, basically. Okay, well, that's... A bit of that is still the reclaim out of the funnel. Yeah, a lot of that will be. I don't feel comfortable calling this yet, because about three minutes ago, and I said Cuba. I know, this. right? I know, it's like, I, you want to call it, but then it's like, well, we just called it... <laughs> Three times in the last ten minutes. <laughs> and kept being wrong. So, yeah. And I mean, Cubase putting on the pressure again here. I don't... Like, with the the rogue spam is going to be effective against these spiders. The bandits wasn't. The bandits weren't, but a sub-bandits is an escort for rogue. Mm -hmm, but no fleas or anything to deal with this. And all the Aryanists just died. Particularly the I can't help but think that, what, that once again, a Thunderbird would simply end this game. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it really would. Long time Black ago. Dutchie, Black Dutchie still has double the army size of Cuba. I don't know what it's in, though. Well, I mean, if you look, it's 5,000 here. I think it's just in all the spiders. And also the tridents count for, like, 1,300. Yeah, I guess. There is the fleas. Okay, now there's fleas. And now the rogues are gonna die. A horrible death. They're going to die very much. There are the bandits back. The back. If the bandits came in, this would be fixed. It would, but they're not going to. Just keep basing on the mic. He's forgotten. Uh, yep. He has forgotten his bandits. I, I, I don't know this game. <laughs> I, just, I don't know this game either. I don't know about this game. <laughs> what game am I? I think <laughs> Cubase remembered the bandits now. A little late. Cubase remembered the bandits as Black Touchy realizes they can come in with everything else, so that's. I said this though. Whoever, wi whoever wins this series is going to be traumatized before they fight Drone. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, they might just give up. It might just be, you know what? We're done. Drone wins, uh, whoever wins not, gets I mean, silver. You still, you still have the hope that Drone looks at a, pro at a Pope Fris in the Grand Finals and like spontaneously combusts or something. That's yeah, that's one map out of three. In one series out of two. Well, yeah, but if, if he combusts, he can't play the others, right? Oh, I see, right. I thought you meant he temporarily spontaneously combusted. <laughs> no, I'm saying a Pope Fris might just break his mind. Oh, yeah, I just assume that breaking uh, one's mind is a temporary thing, is a transient thing. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, but I mean, yeah. I, I... Okay, it looks like Black Dutch... Well, okay, um, Cubase got know. a dart Black Dutch is attacking. Cubase probably going to counterattack. Someone's going to die. Uh, Black Dutch... Cubase got a dart out, I think... I don't know, does the dart beat these spiders? I'd, l I'd like to think it does. Probably, uh, not with the ra not with the rapiers actually. No. The two rapiers to slow. Assuming they don't just die horribly. No, they do just die Never horribly. Mind. So Never there mind. They died horribly. <laughs> Disregard. There is definitely that, but there are a lot of hermits to tank out the shots. So the members might be able to get some free shots in. And regardless, the economy is getting hit again, even harder. Now it's just more and more stuff coming out of Black Dutchy and Cuba. Or, sorry, well, both, yes, but mostly Black Dutchy. So much stuff coming out. But hey, finally a Dante, something normal. And now, moment of truth. What's gonna happen? Dante's running into the Venoms, though. That's. Yeah, it's gonna get uh, stunned out. Nah. What? No, baby. it killed all the Venoms Not too quite. quickly. But it still dies to the Hermits. If the Dante had kited, I think it wins that. But oh, yeah, instead of easily. It, it, it nearly won without kiting. It halved the army without kiting. If it had kited, it would have been game. Yeah, the. Well, Cubase building another Dante. It's about a minute out. I, Black Dutchie committing suicide. Cubase now running. Well, says so, so Cubase on the other side of the map, <laughs> having built a spider factory. 
Oh yeah, wow, sheesh. I have just one question for you. Are you ready? Are you ready for this Sunday night? Okay, applying mute. <laughs> yeah, damn it, drone. I would I would have said Skype, but I find Skype with Australian viewers with people in Australia tends not to work very well. Yeah, I can understand that. Mumble this, seems to work better. This game. Okay, so if, so both bases are being demolished by fleas. Mm hmm. So the energy economy of both players is now going well and truly into the toilet. There is. Black Duchy did re has reclaimed that funnel web mostly now. Yeah, and that's no, that's completely reclaimed now. So there's not much left from that pile, but there's still a lot left of reclaim. But no power to use it, or no energy to use it with. There is incidentally fifteen thousand metal of reclaim on the map presently. <laughs> Thanks. That's useful knowledge. Looks like yeah. 2,000 in... <laughs> Duly noted, Black Duchy. 6,000 in Cuban's territory, and about 6,000 in Black Duchy's territory. So, that's a lot of metal. Why is everyone at only plus 24? They could be up to easily for the next minute. Actually, no, not even the next minute. For the next 10 minutes, they could be at plus 10. They could be at plus 35, or extra plus 10. And for like 5 minutes, for... Even just for two or three minutes, which is the sizable majority of the game at this point, it's going to be like plus 20, plus 30. That'll end the game quick. Okay, Black Duchy's attacking the top right corner with the patented flea rapier trident composition. Well, they must have patented it because this is purely an original idea. Yep. And attacking bottom with. Oh, no, sorry, that's Cuba attacking bottom yep. with. Bunch of bandits. Breaking Black Dutch's last little bits of economy. And Black Dutch not able to break Cubay, so Cubay still ahead. And with 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 that with that Dante coming in, I want to say this is over now. I don't see Black Dutch's next play here. I don't think Black Dutchy can hold that Dante, but I don't think so either. But at this point, yeah. Done more. Or Cubase throwing away more, I'm not really if those, sure. If those, ra if those rapiers came back, maybe, but the rapiers are about to run into a whole mess of um, tarantulas, so... Okay, well, there's the Dante, and there's nothing in place to deal with it. <laughs> Infiltrator looks wrong? Yeah, Where's it's actually a fly out. Oh, it's a tarantula. <laughs> yeah, that would help. That would be a good play. Stun it out, and then kill it. But there's nothing Black left. Duchy Black Duchy is going is... for the red, the red backdrop. Black Duchy's dead. It's over. The game is over. I'm calling it now. <laughs> I don't care if there's a red backdrop. It's not gonna work. Yeah, it's finally over. You know, red backs are not a good thing to drop anyway. They don't really have enough damage per second. No. Like, Venom and Red back together might work okay, but with Spider, that wouldn't bother with any drop. I can't imagine a drop that would work. Uh, and I think this is finally terminated. Maybe. The Dante's about to die. Well, yeah, the, the, oh, no. It's about to get stunned. I don't think Black Duchy actually has the army available to kill it, stunned or not. They could try. Well, the red backs are, the red backs are walking over. No. And they're dying. Very rapidly. Yeah. They were a bit too slow. <laughs> there it is. Oh my goodness! How long was that? that was like it's half an hour. Finally over. How much excess? Ten thousand metal excess by cube, or eleven thousand by cube, and one point six, one point six hundred, one point six thousand by Black Duchy, but eleven thousand by cube. And, and, and even including that, cube had a seventeen thousand metal. Advantage used. in yeah. terms of metal used. I I, I don't know. I'm... Although units built was pretty close near the end. Units killed. Oh, Black Duchy was ahead in terms of unit count for a while. Did your frame rate issue ever correct itself? Nope. Oh, okay. 
Lovely. I mean, it was like 30 or so, but still, when I've just bought, when I've just spent 400 bucks on a graphics card, like a couple months ago, yeah. it's kind of annoying oh, when I'm being go. screwed over by presumably the transfer from CPU to GPU, or from RAM to GPU, like that, the draw call is probably what's killing it, and that is something that you can't deal with with a better graphics card. Okay, this is probably clever out of Black Dutch, you're picking a C map, particularly in Culka Wet. Well, oh. okay. in particular, he has chosen in Culka oh. Wet. <laughs> I wanted to have a nap before my stuff this afternoon. So. Well, yeah, okay, so the, I guess the idea here is that Black Dutch is hoping Cuba doesn't know anything about modern C. That seems reasonable. It didn't work out real well for Yogg off against Drone, though. <laughs> so, but Drone has been playing a lot fairly recently. Cubay hasn't played in months. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, that's true. I don't know that Drone plays. I don't know that Drone plays C much at all. But all the same, yeah. Never point. Yeah. Well, I've seen Drone play quite a bit of C on and Culta in tournaments. It co it's come up quite. It comes up in every tournament. But yeah, I don't know if they. It's Coastal's a bit different, but they they figured it out. Okay, I have to question. Uh, well, maybe daggers. I guess I, I kind of question Hoverstar, but on the other hand, I, you know, I'm, I'm not some. I don't have a really great understanding of C myself, but I question the Hoverstar a bit. Well, and this map is also a weird map. Just to put that out there, this is a very strange map. Because it's all water. So I'm, it's actually all little surprised. I'm not surprised no one's going Amphib, because Amphib in pure water doesn't have a whole lot of options. Hovercraft. Bait is slower. That doesn't help. Yeah, this map is fairly large. And, and Duck is no longer good enough to just carry your entire factory. <laughs> no, not here. Although, actually, it's pretty much all you have, so. So, Black Dutch is going to have to get a lot of mileage out of Dagger, because the, the, the one reason I can think of why you would go hover over ship on this map is that you have Dagger, because while Scalpel's a really good unit, I believe it does lose to Enforcer. Yeah, but Enforcers are quite expensive, so you're going to have to basically attack really quickly and try to, avoid, try to prevent them from getting a strong economy. Which is probably impossible on a map of this size. Because yes, enforces outrange and outrun scalpels. Yeah, okay. And they probably just chew up daggers, so yeah. Or just have a mix. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I don't actually, I actually know about that. I know that I know that in general, enforcer is. I know that as a general rule, enforcer is very strong against hovercraft factory. Whether Cuba knows that or not, I don't know, because a while ago. Enforcer was kind of bad, I think. <sighs> yeah, long, long time. Like, before Rymark's changes. Yeah. Yeah. Although, before Rymark's changes, um, a lot of stuff was bad. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, anyway, point is, unlike, unlike on a land map, Scalpel is not the reason to choose Hoffa on a seat map. Um... Yeah. Mace is also not very. Mace is also pretty underwhelming on a C map. Um, Claymore's Claymore's good, but you can't like you can't just make an army out of Claymore. Um, no, because it's killed against itself. Amphibious, I suppose. Yeah. Um, Penetrate is good, but it, but it, again, it's a utility unit. So, like, if you're going to pick up, if you're going to play hover on a C map, you have to be getting mileage out of daggers, which is so far is what Black Dutch is doing. Yeah, but not just Typhoon, the, and Typhoon beat daggers. Yeah, they they, well, if they catch the daggers, which is... True, but they're still torpedoes. Hmm. So yeah, the, cause what, you have, what you have to do with Hover here is to just keep raiding and outrun whatever the ship player sends to counter you with. It's a difficult prospect. Like I said, I'm a bit doubtful of the Hover factory pick here, but we'll see. Yeah, it's an odd pick. I'm not going to disagree with that. It's very strange. But at any rate...
Cube going for retaliatory raiding, and this should be far more effective. There's no urchins in place. What was Black Duchy expecting? These mexes are dead. Like, all these mexes are dead. Even mexes over here are I probably dead. Up, hoping to put on, put on enough pressure that it didn't happen, I suppose. Well, going for a counterattack. I guess they're figuring, well, if Kiwi's not going to respect me by actually attacking, I'm just going to have to counterattack. But it looks like they're not counterattacking. In fact, they're <laughs> side. Wait. This is. Moving they, around. They have to counterattack. Like, like that's, that's the point when you counterattack. If you're too far out of position to do a defensive maneuver, counterattack. Well, the Claymore blew up a submarine and itself. As Pretty Claymore's much, yes. Do. No, actually, it, it damaged itself and then the other sub killed yeah. it, but close enough. Yeah. These daggers could have done a lot of damage. Actually, oh, they're right next to the commander, too! Black Duchy, you're being way too timid. You cannot defend from that position. Okay, Black Duchy realizes that and moves forward. There we go. I like to see that. There we go. Get rid of Cubase Commander. Or the commander can't shoot back. So no, I can't believe shoot that many. Water. That many daggers should be two snakes, I would think. Assuming that they can actually hit them. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Well, daggers shoot. Yeah. Daggers shoot underwater. Oh no, they shoot underwater. The I snakes that. If they, they're reloading. They're reloading. And the burst, not too damaging. But hey, Cubay loses their commander. That's mm. something, I suppose. Yeah, but I'd say Black Duchies, I would say, is kind of ahead at the moment, actually. They're, I'd say, neck and neck. They're pretty even. Like, Cubay is building up more and more snakes, and snakes are going to be very handy for raiding. And Black Duchies doesn't have much to deal with them. I mean, the daggers aren't great, and... Otherwise, what is there? <laughs> I mean, really. Claymores, daggers, and I think... Am I missing something? Nope! Unless scalpels can hit underwater, I don't know about that. Scalpels can't hit underwater. I thought so. So yeah. Black Duchy kind of put themselves into a hole there. Like, essentially getting their claymores to kill themselves. Is that Claymore's roll? <laughs> the suicide unit. Although, actually, that one didn't kill itself. It just got hit. So, at this point, Black Duchy is... Why are you accessing? Black Duchy, no! You're accessing! You're ahead, but accessing! Why? Why would you access... So yeah, this looks like Kiwi's game. Yeah, you, you think? I mean, it's. I don't think it's over yet, but the inflexibility of Hover Factory on a C map is going is, is starting to kick in. It yeah, it really is. Because you you have you a two trick pony. You have Claymore and you have Dagger. It's the same problem with Amphib too. Like Amphib is similarly a two trick pony. You have Duck and you have Scallop. Pretty much anything else it has to service to fire, and so it loses out against subs. Which is rather unfortunate, because it means that sea play is pretty much just ships. Well, yes and no. Cause you, I think you start ship, but then you do want to switch to hover. For, you want to switch to hover for Claymore and for Penetrator. Oh yeah, that's true. And, som and, som and sometimes you want to switch to Amp for Duck and Grizzly, if you have to make a... <laughs> land invasion so I mean mm -hmm. there, there is some interest there but and I but I think that sh ship being the go-to factory on a mostly sea map is not a bad place for the meta to be that's true I mean you don't really use ship anywhere else this is something to point out um they, these submarines are giving black are giving Cuba map control and he is just nakedly expanding that is a lot of mechs he's got now yeah, but Black Duchy is respecting that. Actually, Black Duchy is not really forced to respect it, it's just they are. And so mm. Cuba can get away with that. Very much so. Well, it's difficult because there's no, there's no way to know for Black Duchy to know where the um, where the submarines are. Yeah. 
this stage. It would hurt to be... At least, okay, Black Dutch is switching into air, which I like, but building something which isn't a vulture, which I don't. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Because at this point, that would be perfect, getting sonar or plane. That's ideal. Yeah, Black Dutch is, try is putting a bit of raiding damage on, but I, I feel like it's too little too late. This could have been done a, lot, a long time ago. Well, like I said, Black Dutch was being too timid. Still is. And it's just giving Cubay so much room to breathe. Hmm. Well, I think that at this point it's going to be game. I think Cubay just, has just taken this. They're massively ahead economically. Yeah, the, the econo well, Black Touchy has no tricks. Black Touchy is starting, starting to punish these, this naked expansion, but... This is too far behind, yeah. No, I mean, it, it mm. only counts if you can get rid of the army. Like, if they have an army... And you Wait. ...kill their economy. Yeah. Like, they, they still have yeah, this, an army. Yeah, this, this, this raiding with the daggers, because it could have happened a long time ago. Should have happened a long time ago, in fact. Mm-hmm. That, that, that wall which Black Dutch has built down the bottom is apparently not quite big enough to stop ships sneaking through. Yeah, I'm not Actually, sure I think that's a bug. Yeah. That looks a lot like a bug. I think they might have gone... I didn't see that. They might have gone over the wall. Yeah, they, they, they can only do it at the very top corner, but... That's... Oh, I see. Huh. It wasn't a complete wall. Oh, well. It looks complete, but whatever. Apparently not. Apparently that lost Black Dutchie the game. No one really does terraform much, no, which I think is unfortunate, but yeah. We don't test this enough. Yeah, that... there are a few players who abu there are a few players who abuse it a lot. But more players should, because frankly terraforming is such a useful mm. answer. Like it's a really handy defensive mechanic. Like if you're feeling trapped and you need to stabilize, just build a wall. You don't need to build solar, it's just literally mm. raise the terrain and build a wall. That's all you need to do. Not always, but it's still something I think worth exploring. More than we have. I'm inclined to agree. Oh, that's when Black Dutchy. They have air, which is. Yeah, we're just, we're just kind of waiting. We're just kind of waiting for Black Dutchy to tap out at this point. That doesn't really have many options left. Yeah, these typhoons are just going to finish everything. How many are there? Oh, 16 typhoons. Yeah, that's going to do it. That will most definitely do it. Yeah, coming in right now. There we go. A little surprised they haven't gotten a couple crusaders. Because that would seal the deal mm. if nothing else will. Yeah. So this is so that wasn't worth the complication. Uh, probably. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Black Dutchy did have openings to punish the expansion of Cubay with the daggers, but didn't. And yeah, that, just didn't that, scatter that, it out. And in the end, that was the, in the end that was what well, lost it. Mm -hmm. I don't really understand these ravens. They, the ravens, what are they doing? They're re they're rearming. There's nothing to rearm them with though, other than the factory. So yeah, they're really slow and trying to kill typhoons. Well, not that not that is um, that w why build the ravens? They're not think, really very good against ships. Well, I Most think it's because they can, hit, they can hit underwater, so they can hit subs. Well, is that I suppose? I think that's and why they, they do. Two, they do two hit crusaders, which is pretty good. Yeah, they're just not fighting crusaders right now. They're fighting typhoons. <laughs> Hmm. That does very yes, little good. That aspect. <laughs> and Cuba has gone into the fighters. I just, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand why this game is continuing at this stage. I don't know. Black Dutchie's refusing to throw in the towel, even though they have nothing. Yeah, this is. I don't, I don't know. This is, this is super duper over. I'm not sure what they're planning on doing. They're trying everything, which I respect. It's just that, I guess they don't really know that it's over. They should. I mean, I'm pretty sure Black Dutchie's yeah. sure Dutchie known it's over for a while. I, d I, I don't know. I, I, yeah. Yeah. 
I think the brackets could just be updated right now. This isn't like the first game. <laughs> oh, Cuba uh, crashed? Cuba is crushed. <laughs> wow. Oh, I, okay. thought Cuba, I thought I was answering Black Touchy's question. Your plans versus drone. Cra I plan to Pulls crash. Pulls place. Oh, he's, is this serious? Wait, Cuba actually crashed. Cuba is winning. Oh, no. Cuba didn't, didn't quit. Cuba just crashed. Huh. I don't understand why Black Touchy doesn't just reside here. This is. This is an absurdly over game. I don't know. Everything's been weird. This is this is the weirdest tournament in a long time. Yeah, no. I, I guess this is I guess this is what we get for um, a tournament based on untested maps. Yeah, that that's definitely true. I agree fully. And I mean, I mean, like, okay, some of them were fine. Um, so, you know, Zed was fine, Isle of Grief was fine, Fairyland was as far as I know fine, except for that weird thing with the Team 5 box. I don't quite understand Nor how why. The actual, if you look at the, well, I don't know if you can, but the actual well, featured map... Well, I can't, map, I'm not an admin. <laughs> okay, but the featured map start box thing says 2, not 5. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, that's, that's strange. Anyway, maybe someone fixed it before you got to it. I, I don't know. Possibly. Whatever caused that, that was odd, but in any case. Um, as far as I know, those three maps worked fine, but I mean, like, they've been tested a fair bit. The. Fetid Marsh? The, the, the fetid, <laughs> fetid Marsh is a different question. Um, as far as the snow map, which we briefly saw the end of, that was. That's, that map seemed fun. I think you know, I, I believe it, it is a map isn't too technically complicated. Yeah, it looks like it's probably going to be okay. Although, honestly, I'm starting to yeah. wonder if I died in my sleep and I'm currently in hell. <laughs> yeah, I can... I understand. That, that, that Fetid Marsh game, that was, that was something else. Like that Fetid Marsh game, I'm thinking, is this my eternal punishment? <laughs> oh, dear. So Black Dutch is running through his um, arsenal of <laughs> images to paste into the map. I have map marks off. They aren't on stream. <laughs> All right. Okay. He has a. He has a. T so, so there's well not the, well not the marks there. So do you see the Cube um, drawing or not? Well, there's a draw. There's a drawing of a cube. Oh yeah, no, I saw, I've seen Dutch's that. I've thing. seen that a few times. I see that. Okay, you've seen the other ones on the map. No, they're and not. He's drawn I can't show if I turn them on. Oh, I can't actually show them. Huh. Okay, whatever. Wait. So cube is back in order to win. And now the conclusion. And now the conclusion to this exciting <laughs> match. <laughs> yeah, okay, so once again, short version. If you're going to play hover, you had to if you're gonna play hover on this map, you have to you have to do work with daggers, and it didn't happen. And you have to the be end. really aggressive. You have to win in the first five minutes. Or switch. Or both. Yeah. Switching's perfectly fine, but... But yeah, basically, you have to win quickly. You have to be aggressive. You can't be all timid. Your units are cheaper. Like, your units are far... are much... Well, much cheaper, but they're, they're still cheaper than sea units. Or ship unit, shipyard units. Well, that metal used graph, that's not good. That is not good to say. Nope. <laughs> oh, dear. But Black Dutchy was actually ahead towards the start and doing okay for some time, but yeah, it didn't really. But help, then just stopped stopped attacking. The stopping attacking that did it. Pretty much. Okay, and now, ah. and now we have reached the grand finals. 
<laughs> Cube versus Drone. First map, apo- Apophis. Oh, how do you pronounce that? Apophis? Apophis. I, I, don't, I don't know. I call it Apophis. Apophis. Sure. The imbalanced asteroid map. Pretty much, yeah. But like, don't get me wrong. I like the map. It's just not balanced. <laughs> I mean, it does. It, you're right. It does look really cool, but yeah, it's. Why'd you put it in grand finals? I don't know. That's weird. What's weird? Putting in grand finals. Uh. I don't get that. All right. Well, I think I have a couple of bug fixes for those widgets that were screwing up. So. What's the next? Oh crap! I forgot to write. I keep doing this. Stupid mumble getting in my way of my. I was on. Uh, uh... I'm never gonna get this right. This is a gong show. This tournament. I've forgotten to do all the updates for the lower bar. I've forgotten to do all the updates for the stream title. People are running in the mumble channel. It's like, uh... This is the worst produced tournament I've done in a long time. Uh, <laughs> these things happen. Yeah, but it's consistently I'm screwing up the bottom bar thing. I'm, that's that's huge for me. I practice that all the time. Every single one of my games, I have that. 